Hey guys, what's up? It's Annie. Today I am on a road trip. Um, yeah, I'm going to Ocean City, Maryland for the weekend with my dad and my stepmom. It's not my dad's birthday, but it's close to his birthday. And so we're gonna celebrate his birthday. So super excited about that. Can I balance you on here? I can. Oh, this is exciting. There's people next to me. They probably think I'm crazy. Anyway, um, it's really, really, really cold. Um, no, it's not really, really cold. It's just a little cold. It's definitely not the kind of weather that you want when you go to Ocean City. I would prefer something a little warmer, but it's exactly the same weather I think it was when I went to Ocean City last April for my dad's birthday, and I didn't bring a coat then either. And today I have no coat. I took it out of my car. I usually keep a coat in my car, and I took it out because I was like, oh, I don't need it. Like, it's spring. We're, you know, we're wearing flip-flops now. It's warm, but yeah, it's cold. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna deal with it. But I'm on my way to Ocean City, and um, yeah, I just thought I would start vlogging now. If I see cool things along the way, I'll show you guys, and let's go to Ocean City. Oh, I also, um, I'm still in my, fancy work clothes, my fancy clothes, as I like to call them, because uh, I just got off work. So, yeah, we're just driving to Ocean City, looking quite professional. Uh, so yeah, let's head out. Your trip starts here. It sure does, Marilyn rest stop. It sure does. So, my second stop after the Marilyn rest stop on 95, is Chevy's. I got the idea to get some Chevy's to go for the road. Just sounded really, really good. This is like my favorite, well, it's one of my favorite restaurants. But sadly, we don't have any in Virginia, or not very many, not one near me. So when I'm in Annapolis, I like to partake in some Chevy's. So I'm not sure why there's a big sign outside that says believe. I'm not sure what we're believing, but it is what it is. I always love the decor in Chevy's. It's so cute, so festive. And I like the reminder of the countdown to Cinco de Mayo. 19 days. Okay, I got the goods. What did I get? Got my tamalito. So delicious. Chevy's. It was pretty packed in there. It was kind of crazy. I forgot that it's dinner time. It's almost six o'clock, so yeah. I for, totally forgot that. I was like, oh, it's a lot of people in here. But, and then I got my flautas. Comes with like dipping sauces that are delicious. So I'm gonna eat this on the way to Ocean City. Um, usually they give you free chips and salsa when you get Chevy's takeout, but I they didn't put it in the bag and I didn't bother asking them because it's a little hard to eat chips and salsa while you're driving in the car. It's just not easy. So I'm gonna eat my flautas and my tamalito and that should be delicious super excited so all right i'm gonna continue to drive to ocean city on my slow moving journey to ocean city i kind of like to stop along the way and you know see things or you know i have a small bladder so i have to use the restroom things like that so i don't i'm not like um i'm not a speeder i drive very slowly and um just get to where I'm going safely. So yeah, back on the road. These chicken flautas are so good. I always just get one flauta and I cut it in half. It's just like an a la carte order. These sauces, this is like a jelly sauce and then a little bit of a spicier kick to it sauce. I don't know what they're called, but they're delicious chicken flauta. Mm, such a good snack slash dinner. I mean, I'm sure I'll eat more later, but this will definitely hold me over for a couple hours. This and the tamalito. So I just came from that road right there. That's 50. And then I've always passed this and I've never stopped. It's right over this little bridge that takes you into Cambridge, Maryland. And it just looks so cute. It's like this little park here. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop and check it out. But yeah, it just looks like a boat sail. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Ooh, signage. Cambridge, originally part of the 
Choptank Indian Reservation laid out for them in 1669. Cambridge was made a port of entry by the assembly in 1684. It is one of the few towns authorized at that early date that has survived. Wow. Growing up in school, one of my favorite people, one of my favorite people in history that I learned about was Harriet Tubman, and she was from Maryland, and she was a huge part of the Underground Railroad, and um, they even have a mural dedicated to her here that I've done a video on before. I'll link it above and below. Here's a little sailboat that says, welcome aboard. This is so cool. I can't believe I've never stopped here before. They have a visitor center. It's not open right now. Oh, they have restrooms? Visitor center and restrooms open daily. Man, that's good to know for the future. I had no idea. And they have a map of the area. So it says we are right here. And where are we going? We're going all the way over to here, Ocean City. So we still have a ways to go. It's windy and chilly out here, but it is very beautiful. There are multiple playgrounds over here. Not just one, two, three, four? There might be four. And there's the bridge I just came over. This is so cool. I can't believe I've never stopped here before. Oh, I love it. So much fun. Oh, this is so cool. They have swinging chairs out here. Oh, this is neat. These chairs are so cool. What a great idea. Swinging benches right in the sand. How neat is that? There's some kids over there swinging, having a great time. But yeah, they have a little boardwalk here. There's another chair over there. I've never seen swinging chairs like that before. That's a lot of fun, or swinging benches. Oh, this is funny. This sign specifically says, no swimming in pool. Oh, the little fountain. Yeah, that makes sense. I could see someone attempt that. Oh, this is so pretty. What are these, geese? Yeah, it looks like geese. Wow, how gorgeous. Grand National Waterfowl Hunt Club. Oh. Beautiful. I am so glad I stopped here. This is gorgeous, especially with the sun setting. What a fun spot. Whew, it is a cold night. I definitely could have used a coat or a jacket. But, you know, we're just, we're just surviving the elements. The Maryland April elements. You just never know what kind of weather you're gonna get. So I'm not gonna shoot the playgrounds too closely because there's a bunch of kids playing on them, but yeah, they're really cool. One's a lighthouse, one's a pirate ship. Great ideas. Whew. And just so you know, I'm mostly wearing my mask because it is so cold right now that it just feels so nice on my face, but I really don't have to wear it because I'm in a park pretty much by myself. This is a great mural. The thing that I think is the most unique is that one of them is wearing an Orioles hat. That's a nice little added touch to the mural. But yeah, this is called the Visitor Center at Sail Winds Park. Definitely a great find. I am cold. Whew, that was a cool park. I will definitely be back. That was such a cool experience, like such a hidden little gem, a hidden little treasure on the Eastern Shore. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed 
my little road trip vlog from one part of Maryland to another part of Maryland on a Friday night. Uh, the road trip took a long time, I gotta say. It took, it took a while. Uh, you know, you got traffic, and then, you know me, I like to stop a lot, and I wanted to show you guys places along the way. But I eventually got to Ocean City. I didn't film when I got there, but I had a great weekend with my dad and my stepmom. We had so much fun, and it was just, yeah, it was just a great weekend. Colder than I thought it would be, for sure. I have to remember that late April in Ocean City is cold, and I should dress accordingly. I have to remember that for 2022. That sounds so weird to say 2022. That just seems like, that seems like, I don't know, something about that seems weird. But um, yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that I started a Facebook page for this YouTube channel. It's it's called Just Call Me Annie, just like this channel name. So if you go in the search bar on Facebook and type Just Call Me Annie, I should pop right up if you want to give it a follow. That would be cool. Uh, but yeah, until the next vlog, and there will be one very, very shortly, so definitely hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out. So until the next vlog, bye guys.